then, and I am still today, absolutely committed to us getting Brexit, for it, for it to actually happen. And the dilemma, Mark, I've got is how best do I do that? Do I do that by putting my name forward to try and get into the Westminster Parliament, or do I do that by being the leader of a group in the European Parliament with actually an unparalleled platform in terms of speaking time and everything else that I can do? I don't know, Mark. I'm not sure where I'm most effective. But I've got a call from Vienna. Femi in Vienna. Good evening. Good evening, Mr Farage. Good evening. What is your main reason for wanting to vote Lib Dem? Uh, well, having studied EU law and therefore knowing what the single market is, I know the economic effect of being out of it. For example, things like mutual recognition, harmonization, these are terms that weren't even mentioned during, the, during the referendum. Horrendous, and, and yet, horrible terms, aren't they? Well, um, Horrendous. for example, mutual recognition, mutual recognition means that um, we can sell our products in exactly the same way across the 28 member states. Whereas once we're out, countries are under no obligation to accept mm. our products if they don't meet their rules. We're at a significant competitive disadvantage if we're no longer Femi. in the single market. Femi, I was a trader. I was thinking. I, I was I was a trader, Femi, before getting into politics. And do you know what? When things are different, you often finish up with more business, more competition, and a better price for consumers. So there is a counter argument to that. Uh, there's a counter argument to the fact that um, if we're outside of the single market, if we wanted to sell our products in all 28 member states, we'd have to sell our product in 28 different ways, manufacture our products in 20 different ways. Fantastic. Completely blowing up our marginal costs. How exciting. It, would make it, far, it, makes it makes it far less profitable to actually um, trade across the EU. And you were saying um, a couple of minutes ago how you were unsure as to whether or not you wanted to be an MEP or an MP because you're not sure. Yeah whether or not you'd be able to serve your country more as an MEP or as an MP. Yep. Doesn't, don't you think that typifies exactly the issue that because uh, by, by leaving the EU, by getting rid of the 73 MEPs that the UK currently has in Europe, we're, um, that's 10% of the, of, the, of the European Parliament. We're completely, we're, we're cutting down our power on the international scale. No. The fact that you yourself... Femi, 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 outside, Femi, 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 outside, outside of the European Union, 